Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make an experimental incline fold. The shirt was prepped like normal and I have it turned inside out. So to start this fold, I'm going to take a washable marker and a straight edge and I'm going to draw a diagonal line across the shirt from one shoulder of the shirt to the opposite hem of the shirt. Then what I'm going to do is fold one corner of the hem of the shirt up to that line and fold the opposite shoulder of the shirt down to that line. I'm folding the shoulder seam and touching the shoulder seam to the line. Remember, I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. Then I'm going to fold the shirt on the line that I initially drew. So it's not totally in half. If you'll notice, there's part of the shirt hanging out at the top. But for the most part, I folded the shirt on the line. I'm using my finger to feel where the hem and the shoulder seam are inside the shirt. And I'm going to place my finger on that line then using a piece of kite string or sinew tied around my washable marker, I'm going to draw an arc on the shirt, with that being the center point. Now I'm going to fan fold this line, and I'm going to hold the folds in place with some kite string. I'm going to fan fold or straighten the folds on either side of this initial line and I'm going to tie them with kite string too. After I tied this shirt, I got busy tying a few more shirts, so I put this one aside for a few days, and by the time I got back to it, it was completely dry. I'm going to incline ice dye this shirt, so I'm making myself an ice barrier out of some silicone cake molds. I've wrapped the silicone cake molds around the shirt, and then I'm using some wooden clothespins that I'm attaching to my metal rack to hold the cake molds up close to the shirt. I could have just put the shirt down inside of some vinyl guttering, but deciding to incline it was kind of a last minute decision. Initially I thought I would just ice dye the shirt. I have a link down below in the description for this video for where I purchased the cake molds. I also list the dye colors that I used on the shirt, and I have links to other items that I use when I tie dye. I'm going to apply the dye in stripes on the shirt, and I'm going to vary the width of the stripes. The colors that I'm using and the order that I'm using them in are Amethyst from Dharma, Dutch Chocolate from Dharma, Aurora from Dye Spin, Wild Mushroom from Dye Spin, and Black Cherry from Dharma. I'm going to keep repeating the colors until the shirt is covered with dye.
Now I'm going to add an additional sprinkle of dry soda ash over the top of the die and add a layer of ice. To incline the shirt, I'm going to place one end of this metal rack down in the bottom of this container. I put the shirt aside and I allowed the first layer of ice to melt. I noticed at the very center or the top of the shirt, there was a little bit of white left showing in that area. So I added a small amount of amethyst to that area and added a second layer of ice to the entire shirt because there was still some undissolved dye left sitting on the rest of the shirt. Then I put the shirt aside and I allowed the second layer of ice to melt. I would suggest allowing the shirt to process for about 24 hours after the second layer of ice melts. However, I went ahead and left town for a few days, so I didn't rinse this one out for about five or six days. When I started rinsing, I started rinsing in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. Then I untied the shirt and I warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. When the water was running almost clear, I put the shirt along with some Dharma's textile detergent into my washing machine and washed it using a hot water cycle. Then after the shirt was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? I definitely think this one is very unusual. I'm not entirely sure what I thought was going to happen with this shirt, but this is not really what I envisioned. I can't say that I'm disappointed though, because I do think that it's a cool looking shirt. Okay, so right in the middle, that area of the shirt is the part that was at the very top of the incline. And if you remember, I was kind of seeing some white on the back side of the shirt. That's why I added a little bit more of the dye to the very top area. So after I added the second layer of dye and ice to the shirt, I noticed that that area was still white. But at that point I thought, well, let's just leave it alone and see what happens. And the white is still in that space or in that area. I would have preferred if it would have actually been dyed, but it's not horrible. I also got really good dye movement on this shirt. And I like the effect that all of the different folds made in the dye movement. So in the center part of the shirt, the dye is moving one direction and then the hem of the shirt and the shoulder of the shirt that I folded into the center, the dye is moving in a different direction in both of those areas. I think that's an interesting effect on the shirt. When you're looking at the shirt, the right side of the shirt, that hem was the one that was at the very bottom of the incline. So it's a little bit darker because that's the area where all the dye ran down to. I also really like the colors on this shirt. The browns really split out some interesting colors. I like the little hints of green that are on the shirt. And I like the darker areas on the shirt too. I'm glad I varied the widths of the dye bands so that it's not all totally uniform. It's a little bit more random and I like that. I also like the pink colors on the shirt. The pinks that I used are more of a purpley pink but if you've ever ice dyed with pink, you know that sometimes it can be a bit of a challenge. Some colors like hot pink and a few other ones, I've had issues with those colors not showing up as bright and vivid on ice dye as they do when you use them for liquid dye. But the colors showed up beautifully on this shirt. They're all really pretty. So I really like this shirt. What do you guys think? I think I'd like to try it again and see if I can get better color saturation right in the middle of the 
folds or the middle area of the shirt. And if you guys have enjoyed the video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.